how to use TI-65 to find low risk entries. Uh, this is something which I talked about last week in terms of like saying how can you use TI-65 and in this particular video I'm going to show you uh, a technique for finding low risk entries where your stop can be very close and these kind of entries will fall into the categories of either a pullback or an anticipation kind of a thing. Now this particular video which I'm going to do is more geared towards full-time traders because uh, as a full-time traders you're looking for a lot many more opportunities than if you're just a part-time trader or somebody who's working and doing trading as a side uh, gig. As a full-time traders you're looking for as many opportunities as possible uh, uh, so this is more geared towards them and the other reason why I'm not suggesting this for working people is because it requires time uh, and while a full-time trader has all the time in the world to do these kind of things during the day while you may not have that kind of a time but you can still use it uh, you can use it as an end of the day process also but primarily my focus for this particular video is full-time traders basically so let's look at like uh, uh, I will start by first like uh, explaining uh, what is TI-65 just for like so that everybody is on the same page. Now what is TI-65? Uh, TI-65 as it is called here on this side many times you will hear that that is basically a trend intensity of 65 days. So you will see that this particular stock NVDR uh, you will see uh, that it achieved a trend intensity of 105 on 3.316 and it had trend intensity till 2.22 so it satisfied that condition of trend intensity which is basically uh, its 7 days moving average was 5% above its 65 day moving average so you are looking at a confirmed uptrend and uh, basically the trend intensity tells you that there is an uptrend and not only that it is there is an uptrend but also the trend uptrend has also certain velocity so the 1.05 really tells you that so when a stock has a trend intensity above 105 uh, you can look at several buy points along the way because the stock is in a confirmed uptrend and this particular method which I'm going to show you is primarily for finding those kind of points where you can enter with a low risk uh, which doesn't necessarily mean that there will be a dollar breakout or 4% breakout because that is a higher magnitude breakout while uh, this is really a low magnitude kind of a uh, uh, low magnitude kind of a breakout setup so you will find many entry points along the way uh, based on uh, this kind of an approach so let's look at basically uh, a scan which I have created uh, now uh, basically when starts with universe which uh, I have explained multiple times universe is basically all US common stocks uh, ETFs and ADRs uh, which I put together in one watch list so basically what I do is I create one watch list called universe and in this particular watch list what I do is by uh, from the main page like I take the US stocks copy all those US stocks into that universe I copy all American depository receipts uh, into that particular uh, watch list and I also copy all the ETFs into the watch list that way you have to run only one scan and you don't need to run uh, three separate scan one on US stock one on ETFs and one on American depository receipts so that's really from a more uh, operational point of view uh, to increase efficiency so basically what you start with is uh, a scan which I've created which is basically LTB stands for low threshold breakout basically so basically it is the universe is the number of stocks on which you're going to apply this particular thing now what is this particular scan basically first condition is the liquidity condition which is our standard condition so stock should trade 100,000 shares in the last three uh, days before yesterday so uh, uh, and the price should be about 3 and trend intensity above 105 so average C7 by average C65 is 105 so you're just these conditions are basically identifying a stock which has a trend intensity above 105 price about 3 and has traded 100,000 as of yesterday 
the next set of conditions are really the conditions which are for the low threshold breakout so what is the condition c is greater than o that means like the stock if uh, a lot of times you will have a stock which gaps up and then spends rest of the day going down but it will be up for the day uh, that's not the kind of situation which you're looking for you're looking for a stock whose close is above the open so they are basically looking for a stock which had a positive uh, close and then you're looking for c is greater than c1 that means like an, the price today is greater than yesterday's price and c by c1 is greater than c1 by c2 so the percentage move today if the stock was up say one percent uh, then yesterday it was up less than one percent or if it was up three percent today yesterday it was less than three percent so that's really what this condition is and then there is another additional condition that c1 by c2 is less than 1.02 so you are not looking at a situation where c1 by c2 was more than 2% and then you are looking at it being positive today so that way you are uh, especially this becomes like this is like anticipation only but if this is anticipation after that next day breakout kind of a thing but you are giving 2% because the smaller stocks uh, tend to have bigger moves uh, that's really the logic so once you apply that uh, today you will get 317 stocks so you have 317 stocks and ETFs basically so the objective is to really find a low risk entry and that's why this is a little bit labor intensive that's why I said it's only for full time traders because your time in the, uh, during the day to do this uh, so, so what I do is like once I run this from the morning opening bell onward I'm looking at uh, it is sorted by dollar dollar is basically for those who want to know what dollar is uh, it's basically c minus o so basically what this tells you is this stock was up one cent from the opening price while a stock like say probably tesla was up 11 dollars from the opening price so c minus o which is like closing price minus opening price so i'm looking for a low risk entry on a good setup basically and as you uh, once I make this public and once I have this video I'm sure there will be people who will use their own uh, filters to reduce this further and that's why I'm putting this in public domain so basically you have uh, I will show you an example of a trade which I took today which uh, basically you're looking for stock which I just had a minor breakout it will not show up in your 4% breakout or it will not show up in your uh, scans basically uh, so once we go to like basic uh, and what you're looking for in a setup is the same thing not extended not like you know, something which is up a lot uh, but something which is just breaking out and is not also uh, completely like basically uh, a four percent breakout kind of a thing so as you keep going down That's how I found uh, this COL today uh, uh, much earlier and similarly I found MU also which you will not see in your normal scans of 4% uh, or in dollar breakout. So basically it gives you additional entry points that's really what you're looking for or like some of the things like those uh, people who, uh, uh, who talk about the uh, I don't remember what is the term but that Gil Morales has uh, talked about an entry technique where he's trying to enter on a, a lower threshold kind of a breakout so this is a similar kind of an approach only thing is he has a lot more condition I kept it like uh, fairly broad and uh, then once candidate come in it is labor intensive at the moment but if you apply some more filters you might be able to reduce it down to few candidates to look at uh, so as you keep looking at you're looking for a setup which is basically uh, from a pullback or some sort of a consolidation a low threshold breakout has happened so let's try and go through this uh, I'm just going through this to till we find a couple of good setups might show up on this one and uh, this dy probably would have shown up on that day yeah but it would have also shown up in dollar breakout so now here is a setup which i saw yesterday okay now it wouldn't show up 
in your uh, 4% breakout yesterday okay i'm talking about yesterday yesterday if you look at yesterday say if i can make this yesterday i don't know uh, it's very fine that thing to move but okay anyway if you look at this uh, here yesterday on this particular day the stock had a breakout from this bullish flag right it wouldn't show up in your four percent breakout or it wouldn't show up in your dollar breakout or any of the breakouts and this is the kind of breakout which you can find if you get an entry here your risk is very low because you're like risking only say around 1.93 percent and the stock was already up four percent so that's an example of kind of setups which you'll find uh, using this uh, or even today like uh, once you see some of these setups you will appreciate how to use this thing especially for lower threshold kind of a breakout and you have to remember that the stock is already like in a uptrend because we are only selecting stocks which has an uptrend so uh, And it will also give you a head up quickly because in the morning when you start running this in the morning early you are basically focusing on stocks with uh, established trend intensity even this stock looked nice uh, early on but like it faded a lot of stocks faded today once the market faded but uh, say like this kind of a thing now royal caribbean uh, this is probably breaking out uh, it's only up 0.85 cents uh, or 85 it was up only 60 cents so it will not show up in a dollar breakout but you can enter this kind of a setup uh, hoping that it will break out tomorrow uh, and we'll have more upside uh, and you'll get many more ideas like this from this like say even this one is 66 cents so it is not going to show up in a dollar breakout but this is a breakout which is happening from this which i don't like this particular stock specifically because it has faded a couple of times but uh, just to illustrate the point uh, you can look at something like that so if you keep going down and remember you're running this scan intraday right from the uh, uh, opening bell so you're going to find candidates uh, we are looking at it at end of the day now see if you see a stock like this okay it showed up on the scan here itself okay now on this particular day it's not going to show up on a dollar breakout today it will show up in a dollar breakout but uh, even before that early in the morning you could see that it was trying to break out so you, you don't you there was no need for to wait for a dollar breakout kind of a situation in that particular case uh, to get uh, start getting into but like this is where you'll find with this same scan why will it meet this condition again because uh, it meets all your condition c is greater than o uh, c by c1 uh, is greater than uh, c1 by c2 which is what like you know the stock was up 0.12 percent while here it was up 0.60 percent so this is the kind of low risk entries which you can get using this particular approach and uh, this i would say that people with a lot more experience will appreciate this much more than other people like even on a pullback kind of thing this showed up yesterday uh, in the scans okay obviously i think there was an earnings today or i don't know why it gapped up but uh, so you can find a very low risk kind of a setup uh, like even if you find uh, see this particular setup now this particular kind of a stock is not going to show up in your dollar record because it was up only 68 cent it's not going to show up in your four percent record but that's a nice entry point right uh, and in fact Anna, the entry which i made was 28.73 but i saw that stocks even before that because it started showing up and i in fact and i sent out a tweet also i think uh, saying moo looks good kind of a thing and uh, that's the kind of opportunity which is a low risk kind of an opportunity which you can find using this uh, uh, kind of a setup if you see on the timeline at around 10 uh, 10 10 19 am i sent out a tweet saying me volume low but maybe getting ready to break out how did i find a stock like that uh, because i run this kind of a scan uh, right from the morning uh, breakout and so once you see something like this you, you know there was a recent earning earnings was good so this is a kind of setup which gives you a much uh, 
better entry because you're entering while the stock has not yet broken out 4% or something. Uh, so that's like, an, uh, and it expands your universe of possible opportunities because as a full-time traders, you're looking at as many trading opportunities as possible as against uh, somebody who is doing it end of the day or somebody who has got time constraint kind of a thing because uh, as a full-time trader, you want to put in as much capital as possible to work. So this kind of a setup can help you um, find more of those kind of opportunities uh, which are not going to show up in your dollar scan and 4% scan. So uh, I've just made this video to give you an idea and I've been asking that question, how do you use TI-65? Now obviously some of these stocks by the end of the day start showing up in dollar breakout because they are dollar breakout but early in the morning these stocks are going to show up in your scans here. Uh, because they don't have a dollar breakout, but they, still they make, they had good patterns. So uh, unfortunately that call uh, COL, which we bought, uh, faded a little bit after entry because the market itself faded, but that was a, uh, the kind of opportunities which you want to find early in the morning or like early. So that's really the thing. So you can keep going through this. And if you really want to re decrease and further fine tune this, what you can add is you can add two more condition or you can add a condition uh, which says that and uh, C minus O is less than 0.90. So basically what it will do uh, is it will look like an, anything which is dollar breakout is anyway going to show up in your dollar breakout scan, right? So it will uh, uh, basically eliminate uh, uh, stocks which are up more than 90 cent and also a stock which is 4% per breakout will come in sometime it might come in sometime it will not come in but if you add a condition which says okay, look at a uh, C by C1 is less than 4% then you will get only uh, stocks which have uh, basically a, a breakout of less than 4% or less than dollar breakout within this particular universe. Uh, I don't suggest using some of the, something like this because early in the morning you want to see sometimes there'll be a 4% record but the volume is not there and you want to get into it. But if you want to have, deal with less number of stocks uh, because you feel overwhelmed, uh, then you can add these two filters. These are not necessary. So if you add those two filters to this particular thing, uh, what you'll see is that from 317 stocks, uh, we brought it down to 236. So it will give you lesser number of stocks because obviously anything which is up more than 90 cents shows up in your dollar breakout if it has 100,000 volume, right? And same way 4%, if it has volume surge will show up in your 4% scan. So this will show you th things in TI-65 universe which are not meeting those criteria but still have a breakout because not every breakout once a trend gets established is going to be a 4% breakout say here this kind of an entry point is not going to show up in your scans currently but it will show up in this kind of a scan if you use this or a classic example is today is like move which is a very nice breakout uh, but it is not going to show up in 3 4% or in dollar breakout and this is the kind of scan which will capture and it will find these kind of opportunities very early enough so it's basically a way to get into stocks with established trend uh, with a lower intensity kind of a thing uh, obviously you can play around with it uh, you can make this universe as uh, DT plus MDT plus uh, TI-65 plus the Minervini scan if you want to do it or you can just keep it the way I have done it because then you don't need to like add any more conditions to it and uh, that's the way uh, I am playing currently for uh, this particular thing which is basically I look at this uh, TI-65 LTV and uh, since in the morning it's much more better to look at it because you can find something which is established trend and which may not be in your anticipation list because sometimes a setup which is got like and you're looking at only one and minus one percent in anticipation but something uh, may not be like that and it still is a good setup and that will show up and it can quickly help you find low risk entry points in established trends or stocks which you want to watch 
because anyway anything which has got a trend in this city or uh, ti65 or 105 is something which is to me is like a watch list kind of a stock and it will help you find that particular kind of a stock so think about it uh, this is something which if you want you can add to your toolbox which will give you lot many trades than what you have from a 4% record, dollar record and anticipation setups. So it's a low threshold uh, kind of a entry point which you can find in an established trend. And again, I will reiterate, it's more suitable for working people, uh, work, more suitable for full-time traders because you want as many opportunities as possible uh, for even for working people. You can find some of the low risk entries like uh, say, yeah, to give you an example, a recent, uh, like say, you can do it many ways, but like say, if you look at uh, something like liquidity and uh, say sorted by TI-65, especially in a longer moving trends like you'll get entry points which will be lower risk kind of entry point where they will not show up it did show up on a four person breakout here but like say uh, i'm trying to find a trend which is like long running trend and where uh, see like something like this like it will mo uh, not show up in a four person record but that's a very nice uh, entry point if you see here like this here this was a breakout, right? Uh, in the context of how the stock was behaving, but it will not show up in your scan unless you had it on an anticipation list, but something like this will find these kind of buy points, which is a nice buy point. And stock made a 51% move from that particular kind of a buy point. So it will help you find like say this kind of buy points, obviously uh, that's also a nice uh, buy point, which was there on that particular stock. And uh, that's the objective of using something like this where you will get entries into a trend established trend uh, with a lower threshold breakout than a normal uh, leave what you scan for so that's really what it will help you and especially it is more useful in the first half an hour or one hour when you are like and you find and not many stocks will be meeting your condition of dollar breakout and four percent breakout uh, but there are stocks which are trying to break out and they don't have st still 4% break a move and they just don't have still 1% uh, $1 move and you can find them in using this scan very rapidly and very easily because I start running this scan nowadays uh, right from the opening bell and you many times find a candidate which later in the day shows up in your 4% uh, and dollar breakout. So this is something which is an additional toolbox uh, or a tool which uh, developed and now obviously once uh, you have the long side of it, you can look at a short side of uh, it which is, I created short side of it also to find uh, which is slightly, uh, this is like uh, same kind of condition minimum volume C is greater than three average C. So that's our standard condition and C is less than O because uh, in the other condition we're looking at C greater than O while here you want something which is the stock is down from the opening price and C by C1, uh, C is less than C1. So because you're looking at reverse in this kind of case and C1 by C2 is less than 0.98%. Uh, only condition missing in this is like, and I had that condition in bullish scan where C by C1 is greater than C1 by C2. I didn't put that condition. Now, if you run that kind of a thing, again, it will allow you to find low risk uh, entry points on shorts. Uh, basically, if you go through this particular thing, uh, and it is more useful on the short side also because uh, many times on the shorts, you don't really like as a continuation setups, you don't really get 4% breakout uh, breakdown or many times like say this was a 4% breakdown, but the volume condition will not be uh, met uh, because a lot of time when stocks are going down, it's not necessary that the volume is going to be high on a, a day on which it breaks down. Uh, that's typical uh, nature of the downtrends where like many downtrends have a lower volume. Uh, especially the one which are persistent uh, downtrend, they will have lower volume. So it allows you to find that also. 
So here are two ways to use the TI-65 uh, on a bullish and bearish side and obviously uh, you can take that as a starting point for developing and further refining your own scans or putting in some more filters uh, which I have like and I looked at a lot of filters to add to it to even reduce further those uh, candidates which are showing up uh, but once I put it in public domain obviously the hundreds of you will apply your own mind to this particular approach and you'll find uh, better ways to do than what I have shown you.